Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if it's a dead giveaway, but um, we're wearing a lot of green. Uh, happy St. Patty's Day! <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for tuning in again. Um, so today, like I said, happy St. Patty's Day. We are at Bush Gardens Williamsburg for their St. Patty's Day celebration. So I'm excited to see some of the shows eat some good food, maybe have a green beer, or two, or three. We'll see where the day takes us. So we're equipped with our our green stuff so nobody should pinch us. And yeah, because yeah, if somebody pinches me, I might just punch them. Yeah. Um, and, school anymore. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see how Irish we can be today. Yes. I mean, technically we're a little Irish. Yeah. Um, you know, let's go have some St. Patty's Day fun. Heck yeah. Finally made it into the park. Oh dear, she found the leprechaun scavenger hunt. I think I'm not gonna act like you can't because my kids are in here. Psh, get the wrong idea. <laughs> they have a built up there. So we've made it inside the park. And now she found the leprechaun scavenger hunt. Something fun for kids to do. Or adults if you're a big kid too. You know, it works either way. Do you? I always say, you do you. If you want to be a kid, you're not oh, gonna hear anything from cards. me. Cards. Oh, we found press pennies. We're going. I wonder if they updated all of the machines. You can get for your credit card will be charged for four dollars for all four coins. Ooh, we might have to do this. So ever since me and my little sister were kids, every time we went to a theme park, we always saw the pressed penny machines. Because they're like the cheapest souvenir that you can get and they're like something unique and cool. Well, at least we think they're cool. But to each their own. And every time we go somewhere now, even as adults, when we see a pressed penny machine, we get the pressed pennies. Let me know down in the comments below if you collect pennies because I think it's a cool little hobby. Sometimes, sometimes you end up looking a little silly. <laughs> She's over here like... <laughs> Did you get all four? Yeah. What'd you get? So. Oh, it did come with all four. All right, me next. All right, so she's she's looking for her first leprechaun. Oh, I was wrong. You were wrong. Okay, it's not. Oh, okay. Oh, clue. Look on the buildings. All right, Susie, so find your leprechaun. Oh, I see, I see him. Let me wait till you see him. Oh, and the donut. Yeah. Okay. It's for the seat. What does oh, it wait. say? Oh, wait, it gives you. So, but it says, hold on. They sell sweets without a beginning, end, or middle. A donut doesn't have a beginning, end, or a middle. <laughs> Clever. Clever. So we just look for. This is my favorite part of the park, and it's not nearly big enough. No. Smells like a horse. <laughs> yep. They got the big Clyde sales in here. Tweets, I guess. I got a sale going on. I might have to go in there, see what they got going on. And then over here is the mythical Loch Ness. So they closed this down right after Halloween, and it's supposed to reopen this May. And I love this ride. It's one of the, it's like their original roller coaster. So I'm excited for it to open. It is, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's still May. Yeah. But, so they'll be opening it in May. I'm so excited for this to reopen. Can't even get back there right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, look at that. Did we find the second one? Yes, 
Yes, we did! So it says, my animal friends and I like to play. Find us throwing horseshoes in the hay. And there he is. Oh, he's got the ram. We found our second leprechaun. We're on a roll with this scavenger hunt thing, man. Wow. But the main event is going to Ireland <laughs> on St. Patty's Day. We've arrived in Ireland. This is why Bush Gardens wins park, beautiful park every year. Because there's just, it's surrounded by all kinds of nature. And it's beautiful. Killarney Crossing. All right. Oh, we heard a penny machine. Oh, we're getting more pennies. All right, now we're getting the iris one. Work it, work it. Get that work. Use those arms. <laughs> her bag just fell off her arm. Can we hold the bag? I'm excited for these. <laughs> so at 12:30, oh, I've got an Irish whiskey tasting. Oh, see, and thank God this is going on, and this uh, St. Patty's Day stuff is going on until the 24th. She started talking right as I walked past, and I was like, Hello! Don't you look lovely dressed in your Killarney dress? Hi, Deidre! Hi, dear love! Hi, Darcy! Oh, look at the mayor! Damn me, Jen! Oi! It's St. Patrick's Day! Make some noise! Hi! Fully mixed legal, what are you doing? Waving that fella around and yelling till you blew into face, huh? Um, didn't you hear my. And, uh, what about me? <laughs> uh, you're a bit more like Irish Thunder. <laughs> yes, Mari. Didn't you hear? Rosie McCann has gotten snuck in Bedridge Town! <gasps> in the county down! But it's not in July! It's true! <laughs> oh. oh, no! Well, this is just horrible, folks. I'm sorry to say it. But our St. Patrick's Day celebration must be cancelled. Oh, no. well, it's not like we can have a celebration without a Killarney party starter. But to cancel all of the preparations, all of the food, all the drinks. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 everyone. Mayor, we can still have the celebration. Oh, but Molly. I don't see how we could possibly do it. It's tradition that the Killarney Party starter leads us all in the song to You have the power to select a new Killarney Party starter and then we can still have our celebration! Woo! But, Great idea! But, who could we possibly choose? Oh, 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 Mayor! I think I know just the person. This right here is my new friend, Lake. He's here visiting Killarney. He gave all this money just for St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, Lake, will you do us the honor of being our Killarney party starter? Yeah! Oh, Mary, you are a credit to yourself. It's in all of Ireland. Well met, lass. And now then, no, we better make it official. Therefore, by the power of 
vested in me as the mayor of Killarney. I do hereby declare that Lake is the official Killarney party starter. And now that we have our party starter, we can begin the celebration. Firstly, we'll sing the celebratory song. Lake, would you do us the honor of counting off dear Seamus? If you're Irish, come into the parlor, there's a welcome there for you. If your name is Timothy or Pat, as long as you come from Ireland, there's a welcome on the mat. If you come from the land of war, Marshall Arnie's lake so blue. But if you're a son, we'll make a boss, whoever you are, you're one of us. If you're Irish, this is the place for you. And now, friends, I do officially declare that the Killarney St. Patrick's Day celebration has begun! Take it away now, Seamus! So I think my sister found another leprechaun. What, is the, what does the riddle say? Hidden in this Irish fountain is a treasure I'm known to hold. come to Bush Gardens. This is where I park my caravan. Every gypsy has to have a caravan. I leave mine on loan. All right, so we're entering what this park calls New France. And our next leprechaun, what does the paper say? Um, to ride this magical coaster, I'd have to be taller. When you're looking down from 205 feet, I am even smaller. Okay, so we're thinking it might be the griffin. Okay, so we have 10 minutes till the Rock and Kelp show, but we think we might have found our next leprechaun right before the show. And there's the griffin. Hey, hey. I told you it would have been the griffin. Well, it is a magical, like, mythical creature. Oh, I think we found it. Okay, so we think we found, well, we know we found. Number four. All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look, one, two, three, four, six, five, six, seven. That, yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so um, now we're on to the sixth one and then we'll go back to five. Yeah. And then we'll go back to six. <laughs> and then seven. So it says, I just stopped in for a bite to eat and I couldn't resist dancing to the Emerald Beat. Germany. Oh yeah, because they have a show yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably where that one is. <laughs> Outside of where Griffin and stuff is from over there. Frank, Frank, and this is the it. old pottery yeah. thing. So we've gotten these. Yep. And now we're gonna try and find the other ones while we finish our scavenger hunt. Yep. We're walking through the bridge where Alpengeist is. And they got Irish lights. 
Has it, have you ever noticed the alligator there? Yeah. On the fountain? Yeah. I don't think I've ever noticed that alligator there before. All right, so we've made it to the fest house. Do you think it's inside or outside? Because this is the Emerald Ensemble, and I don't see a leprechaun as of yet, so I don't know where it is. All right, so apparently my sister and I are not as smart as five-year-olds because we can't seem to find this misnumbered leprechaun in Germany. And we've walked through this place twice now. <laughs> we feel really dumb because like, how are we not able to find this leprechaun? So we're going to continue looking before we go see this show because this is just silliness. Okay, so again, this misnumbered thing, it says number four we found and then it jumps to six, five, and then back to six. I just stopped in for a bite to eat and I couldn't resist dancing to the Emerald Beat. And the show here is called the Emerald Ensemble and you eat here. And we can't Emerald. seem to find it. Is there anything else Emerald here? No, not that I know of. So we're just, yeah. We're looking, but we're not having any luck. This is the next show we're going to see. We're going to see the two o'clock. She's like a hawk. Hold. We found the Germany pennies. This is exciting. So how many have we? How many so more? So we got we got pennies in. Hold on. So we got pennies in um, Ireland, in England, Ireland, France. France, now, now Germany. Germany. Italy would be next. Italy. And we didn't see any in Scotland. We're gonna have to look. I don't yeah, think we, we go were. back to Scotland. We Scotland's very small. It's where the Loch Ness was. Remember that kid was talking to us? Oh yes. So we didn't see any in Scotland, but we did see some. We're here in Germany now and we're getting these, but yeah, I didn't see any in Scotland. We got England and Ireland though. Mm -hmm. Here, hold it so this says it. And we've made it to the fast house. It's one of my happy places. I'm happy to be me. I love that. Oh, I love that too. Me love cookies. Nom 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 nom. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're inside the fast house waiting for the show to start. And we're gonna try to find this leprechaun. the black forest now I'm ready for a bite something with a twist sounds just right so I think it's over here where the um the pr pizza pretzel place is so we're gonna head over there and see if we can't find it just past Verbolton over here we did find another press penny machine though right outside of Verbolton <laughs> So we've, oh, you found it already? We're at the pretzel place. Oh, she found it. Maybe they are. 
we could go back and see those sides. I mean, we could. But, I mean, they walked around the side and didn't. So is this the one? Yep, this is the little pretzel guy. Yeah, we're, we can't find him, but we got him. Okay. Wow. Hmm. All right, what does the next one say? Leprechauns are known for their mischievous ways. Find me in Santa Marta. San Marco, San Marco stomping, stomping on grapes for day. Oh, I know where this one's gonna be at. Okay. It's in Italy. It is in Italy. So you know how in Italy they have that little area where you can like take a picture like you're stomping oh, grapes? Oh, yes, yes. I think it's gonna be right there, okay. so let's. But we gotta find another person to make sure this isn't a typo with that one. I know, cause it says on the thing, it says one, two, three, four, six, five, and then six. So yeah. I think that it was a typo from like last year and they had already printed up thousands of copies and they just left it in there. Because nobody can find this leprechaun yes. over at the Fest House or this one that's doing something, dancing to the Emerald Beat. So we're not the only ones. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we are smarter than five-year-olds. Yes. Depending on who you ask. Exactly. <laughs> so we're heading over to Italy now to see if we can find this other leprechaun and some more pennies. Yes. Oh man, look at Loch Ness. I cannot wait for it to open in May. Oh my gosh. Those tracks do look bright and shiny and somewhat new. I'm excited. Come on, May. And there's Pantheon. I'm trying to convince my sister to get on Pantheon, so we'll see if she gets on Pantheon. I've ridden it, she has not. So we'll see. So this is the new show, which we're not going to make, unfortunately, but to give you a preview of what the stage kind of looks like, I love it in here too. It's one of my favorite venues, but unfortunately we're trying to see the Celtic Fire show before the end of the day, so that's where we're headed. Alright, so we're approaching the little area where you can... Oh wait, it's right here. Found it. I found this one. Whoop whoop. All right, so we found it. Um, what does it say? I'm glad to have escaped the black forest. Now I'm ready. Now uh, leprechauns are known for their mischievous ways. Find me in San Marco, stomping on grapes for days. Oh, Italian my cake tastes like that. Oh, that makes sense. All right, going around and around is such a delight. Find me quick before I spin out of sight. So it's got to be one of the teacups in Italy. Yeah. They've got those teacup rides. So you know how normally right here they have the, yeah. the thing set up where you can look like you're stomping grapes, but it's gone. So that's where I thought it would be, but clearly I was wrong. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Not all, all the time, right. but it happens. All right, so now we're in Festa Italia looking for our last leprechaun. And it's, the leprechaun is in, on the picture, it looks like it's in a teacup. So part of me thinks that it's over here in one of the teacup rides. So we'll see. There's one over here, and then there's this one, the big one. I found it. There he is. What does that one say? Going round and round is such a delight. This ride right here is called Turkish Delight. Okay. Find me quick before I spin out of sight. We found him. And that concludes our scavenger hunt of all the leprechauns. Except for the pesky one that seems to... Uh, have gotten away. Yep. What's the what's the Lucky Charms um what's the Lucky Charms saying for the commercial <clears throat> for the cereal? Oh, uh what is it? Oh, they keep changing. I don't know what's up in my head now. Oh wait, we gotta see if there's a penny machine over here. Oh, Alright, yes. another task. We gotta find the penny machine. We finished the scavenger hunt, now we gotta find the penny machine. So now we're on the hunt. We found another penny machine. This one is Escape from Pompeii and like the Italy pennies. We made it on the sky ride and she hates these. I can't stand them. 
I love these things. I think, I mean, I didn't like them when I was a kid. I certainly didn't like these as a kid because my dad would be that dad who would like shake it while you're riding it. And it wasn't like how this is now. No. What are they building right there? It looks like a porch, like a stage. Ooh. Or I wonder. Well, actually, I think that's where there was seating, if I'm not mistaken. They might be. Hmm. Interesting. I just love these rides though, because you get such a beautiful view of the whole park. And in the summertime and the spring, when the trees are starting to leaf and flower, it's just so pretty. Coming over Ireland. Coming up to one of those thingies. I think his name is, oh, what is his name? Clancy, maybe? I can't remember. Oh, I see him. Wow. And it's such a pretty day out today. Like, oh, today was such a good day to come. I'm so glad we decided to come. So am I. Oh, there goes the Griffin. so bad. No, I just, I don't like them. I mean, they are nice just to sit and And it's relax. so pretty and breezy, like, oh, it feels so good. Yes. All right, so I don't know if you know what this is, but we're in the Abbey Stone Theater, getting ready to watch Celtic Fire, uh, which this child has never seen before. False, I have. You have seen this? Yeah, don't do they do a whole skit and everything? It might have changed when I came in middle school. Oh, no, it probably hasn't because, well, it might have since you were in middle school, but um, when we see it at Christmas Town, um, so when we've seen it at Christmas Town, it's the same show, but it's like with a Christmas theme. Um, but, well, she hasn't seen it since middle school, so it might have changed since she's seen it, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'll keep you all posted. <laughs> But yeah, so we're about to see that. So we're about to watch the Celtic Fire Show. People are just filing in now. It starts at 4, which is roughly in about 30 minutes. So, we'll see. So I was just telling my sister, oh, that breeze feels so good, that this theater is a little old, and I think it needs a, a remodel. Um, it smells like it needs a remodel. But, I mean, I love, I love everything. Ireland and Scotland so and I've been to both places so I really love this show but the theater could definitely use a facelift that's for sure these seats um, not the most comfortable seats and not the biggest seats so I always choose the end seat so that way the person sitting next to me is usually a family member or a friend and then I'm not encroaching on anybody's space cuz <laughs> I'm a big girl we some big girls, so yeah, we are. yeah. But I'm just happy to be sitting down in the AC because it, like, when we got here, it was like a little. It was chilly and it was overcast, and now the sun is out, the clouds are gone, and it's like hot. So I'm like, oh, let's go sit in the AC <laughs> and watch a show. Yes. It was, it was starting to get a little toasty. Oh, and this AC that they got blasting. Feels so good. It's a nice reprieve. It's 
a nice reprieve. Anyways, let's watch this show. Well, that concludes our St. Patty's Day shenanigans. Um, did you have fun? I did. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Mm. The scavenger hunt. The scavenger, yeah. The scavenger hunt was a lot of fun. Like I said, I really think that they left one of the things in there, maybe from last year, because there was one, and it wasn't just us. Like, there were other people that we, like, ran into, and they were, like looking for it as well and we couldn't find it they couldn't find it like it was it was insane trying to find this one leprechaun mm -hmm. um but that was a lot of fun and then i also enjoyed doing the penny getting in the pressed pennies yes. that was a lot of fun and then um the celtic fire show so i've seen it at christmas town i've seen it just like randomly throughout the year and this is i think the first time i've probably seen it on saint patty's day and it's definitely it was a different show than I was than I remember because like what I remember during like the Christmas time and then like during the year it was kind of the same because there was this one song where they bought brought out like food props um, and they were talking about like a wedding cake and stuff like that and they didn't do that for this one so that was a different show and she hasn't seen it since middle school and she's that it was definitely a different show for her Yeah, it was. <laughs> she was like this is completely different um, but the Celtic Fire Show is always, always so good. Like, yeah. it's just such a good show. So, and I understand why people love it and why people keep going back to see it because it's just such a good show. Mm -hmm. Um, I also enjoyed, um, Emerald, what was it? Emerald Ensemble. That one was really, really nice. The guy who plays the, I think it's the violin or the fiddle or something like that. He draws so much attention to himself, like when he plays, because he's just so good. So I really enjoyed that show. The only show that we didn't get to see was Irish Ivories, which is their new show in the Italy area. And that was just because we were trying to get over to Ireland to see the Celtic Fire Show. Yep. So that's the only show we didn't see. We didn't get any green beer mm. or do the next year. I want to do the Irish whiskey tasting. Yes. That would be fun. But we got to do everything else that we wanted to do, and it was an overall good day. Uh, it was a beautiful day, too. Yes. The weather was so nice. It wasn't too hot, except for, like, towards the end of the day because the sun came out. But, I mean, otherwise, it was just a really beautiful, like, day for the weather. And then celebrating St. Patty's Day. It was just, it was a really enjoyable day. Mm -hmm. So if you ever get the chance, I definitely recommend checking out Bush Gardens for St. Patty's Day for their St. Patty's Day celebration. And this year, so normally, if I'm not mistaken, in past years, it always just kind of ends on St. Patty's Day. This year, they're going through the 24th for the St. Patty's Day celebration. So I like that they're doing it a little bit longer because um, I think that it generally starts at the beginning of March and goes through St. Patty's Day. But this year it's going through the 24th and I was pleasantly surprised. However, we decided to come today because it is also a uh, member appreciation weekend. So you get, as a member, like you get a few little extra perks and stuff like that. So I was glad we came today. And as a member, um, when you go to the kiosk and you sign up, you uh, redeem some of your past member rewards. This was one of them today. It's a Bush Gardens magnet. I need to put this on my car. So, yeah, Universal does this too, and I have tons of them, and I haven't put them any on my car, so Bush Gardens is going to be the first one going on my car, um, because you're my home park. So, but anyways, we had a great day, and now we are headed home to get some rest, because yeah. I'm tired. I think my phone said I did like 13,000 steps or something like that today, so definitely a little tired. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go get my kiddos. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.